Uh, it, Oleg, if you could stand up for a moment. This is uh, Oleg Tashutin. He's the chief scientist for IZ3D. He could answer any questions you have. He's actually uh, w one of the key inventors for the IZ3D monitor, and there's a lot of, lot of excitement about this. And uh, if, you, if you have any questions, by all means, feel free, and then uh, we'll quickly conclude. Oui, bonjour. Je voudrais poser une question au niveau des jeux vidéo et au niveau de la démonstration avec les photos fixes qu'on vient de voir projeter. Dans les effets de jaillissement, il y a des objets qui touchent les bords et donc qui donnent un inconfort visuel. Est-ce que, en temps réel, dans le moteur de jeu, il y a des paramètres qui peuvent se régler automatiquement pour éviter ces effets-là Okay, uh, thank you for the question. Yes, uh, you can change all the parameters, and uh, um, the gamer himself can change all the camera parameters. The gamer himself can set up the 3D parameters the way he likes. He, uh, the convergence can be controlled, the depth can be controlled, and the pop-up effect can be controlled by the gamer. So the way the operator and 3D artist control the, how the real camera and the 3D camera in a, a rendering program, uh, the way the operator can control these parameters in movies. Uh, the same way the gamer, with the help of like four control keys, can control 3D parameters of the game just in the real time. So everyone can set up his own parameters, which he's comfortable with, and these parameters are saved and the, by default, and gamers can exchange these parameters. And moreover, our driver comes with uh, lots of presets for many games. And uh, once again, I'd like to apologize for the, uh, if you had some visual discomfort, because uh, you know on the display it looks a little bit different from the projection. So there will be, there may be some slight discomfort because of projections. Anyway, we wanted to show what can be done. Thank you. Hi, what is the IZ3D monitor and what's particular about it? All right, uh, IZ3D monitor is an um, LCD monitor that uh, looks like just a common LCD monitor. Uh, now we are marketing our 22 inch model. So on, for the first glance, it's just a common LCD monitor, 22 inch. And uh, by then, when it comes to 3D, uh, it's, it's capable of showing 3D with the same quality as 3D projection. Uh, so what I mean by this is that there is no screen flickering, there, uh, there are no horizontal lines or vertical lines, there is no resolution loss, and there is no color loss as with anaglyph technology. So you, both of your eyes see the left eye sees the left image and the right eye sees the right image at the same time, at the same pixels and sub-pixels of the image. So your left eye has uh, 60 frames per second or as much as you can watch on LCD, full frame rate, full resolution, full color, and your right eye has full frame rate, full frame resolution, uh, full color at the same time. So that's what makes 3D monitor IZ3D so special. And um, uh, yeah, you need to wear glasses, so exactly. But uh, the point is that uh, most of contemporary products, even if you have to wear glasses, you still have a resolution loss or something like this. So with IV3D, you put on glasses, you see exactly the same thing you see on projection. And uh, you want to know how it's made? So the basic idea is that uh, it's made on, it's, it consists of two LCD panels, and it uh, controls uh, polarization of light. Well, uh, I'm not going into detail, but with the help of one LCD panel, we control the brightness of light, and with the help of a second LCD panel, we control polarization of light. And that's how we can show two different images to two different eyes. So it is not shattering. So in shattering, there is one frame, uh, there is one panel that controls polarization, but in, with shattering technology, when your, one of your eyes sees image, another eye sees black, right? That's what happens with time shattering. This is not the case. So with our technology, with IZ3D technology, at the same time, at the same moment, both of your eyes see images with full resolution and full color. What makes une, it uh, une, 
Ah. Tell me. De, de, deux questions et après on. All right. Tell me. Does does all this work also on a Macintosh player? Uh, so the monitor itself is a hardware solution. So the monitor itself can work with any video source uh, that can output two video signals, either DVI and DVI or VGA plus DVI. But if you want to play computer games, uh, IZ3D driver is designed for PC because it uh, significantly uses uh, Microsoft DirectX 8 and DirectX 9, the, the graphical libraries that are designed for, for games on PC. Yes, uh, one question. Is there any chance that the driver could evolve to uh, auto stereoscopic uh, display compatible uh, solution uh, combining uh, eight video streams, for example? Okay, I can see. Um, well, from the technical point of view, uh, there is no big difference in, I mean, in the, in the algorithm of driver work, how many views you've got. Instead of two cameras, you had five cameras, nine cameras, like thousand cameras. It will only slow you down. Uh, however, at present, driver is available only with IZ3D monitor, and it's a it's a part of IZ3D bundle, and you cannot buy driver by, uh, alone. So, if you want to enjoy IZ3D monitor, you buy IZ3D monitor and you get the driver. But uh, you cannot have the driver alone. It only works with IZ3D monitor so far. Any chance this might change? Oh, you should, you should, you can buy us, no problem. <laughs> okay. Are you affordable? No. For, for someone, probably. For negotiation, we wait. <laughs> <laughs> Dernière question? I would like to know um, what the resolution is in pixels of your monitor and what the input types are, please. Okay, so the resolution is a common resolution for a 22-inch wide monitor. If I'm not mistaken, it's uh, 1280 by 1050. And 22 inch, it's oh, sorry, it's 1680 by 1050. Excuse me. And um, so the inputs, uh, if you want to use 3D, and for sure you want, uh, you need two inputs. It's either VGA plus DVI or DVI plus DVI. So you can use it with most of uh, two output graphics cards, and most of modern graphics cards for PC are two output. On va s'arrêter là parce qu'on est un peu en retard pour la pour la suite. J'aimerais qu'on remercie infiniment Neil et, et Oleg. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Merci beaucoup. Et après, si vous avez d'autres questions, vous pourrez les voir. Uh, après à la sortie. Thanks a lot and if there's some question you can uh, okay, go outside. Merci beaucoup. Donc j'appelle nos conférenciers pour la, la conférence suivante. Donc euh, Janus, Conrad, Alain Conro, Pierre Alliot et Hervé Diochon.